Hi everyone, in this video, I will be explaining about 4 easy tips to reduce the bundle size of your Angular application. So let's get it started now. First tip, tree sacking. If your Angular application is using any third party library, make sure you only import the module that your application actually requires and not the whole library. Let me illustrate this with one example. On my right, I'm displaying a list of customers and this customers module is responsible for rendering this list of customers let me open the customers that component file on the constructor i'm trying to use clone deep method which is provided by lodas utility library even though i am asking to just give me the clone deep method on the actual path i'm referring to the whole lodas library so when angular compiles and generates a bundle it will include all the functions that's actually on the lodas library let me illustrate with the bundle analyzer if you want to learn more about bundle analyzer i have a separate video link is on the description below If we look closely here, the total size of Lodas is 528.19 kb. And we can see here all the functions are being included on the bundle. And I don't think it's a good idea to include all of the unnecessary function because it will ultimately increase the bundle size of your application. So instead of giving the path of Lodas, what we can do is we can target the actual path that is providing the utility function. So let me change this to this object becomes the actual method here. So with only this change, Angular uses this idea of tree seeking, which is basically elimination of unused code or date code. Let me try to generate new bundle. Let me run the analyzer. Now we can see the difference. Size of the Lodas has decreased to 68.06 kV. That's a huge difference. We can actually minimize a lot with this approach. Tip number two, lazy loading. The main idea of lazy loading is to split the main bundle into critical and non-critical resources in order to improve the performance of your application, especially first page load of your application. Here on my right, we are displaying the list of customers and this list of customers is being rendered with the help of customers module right here. If we look on the app module, we are loading customers module eagerly, meaning this module will be part of the main bundle. And also on the routing module, this is how we are adding the path for customer space. Let's try to also look on the network tab. We can see that there are five different bundles responsible for rendering this page. This also means that this customer module is also part of this main bundle file. Let's try to visualize this with our bundle analyzer as well. If we look closely here, we can see all the bundles. And let's just focus on the main bundle for the timing. On the stat tab, the size of the main bundle is 3.98 MB. Let's imagine a scenario where this customer's module is conditional, meaning only managers or the upper level staffs are able to access this module and all the lower level staffs are not able to access this module. So in that case, it doesn't make sense to include this module as part of the main module. It's because the more code that we add as part of the main bundle, it will delay the initial page load of your page. And this is very important, especially for the large scale application. So in order to fix this problem, we can change our regular path with the help of lazy loading routes. And it's pretty easy to do in Angular. We just need to change component to load children. This is how we can make our route lazily loaded. If you want to learn more about lazy loading in Angular, I have a separate video about it. The link is on the description below. So let me save this page. And then also on the app module, we no longer require to make it 
eagerly loaded module so that it will not be included on the main bundle. So if we look on the network tab now, we can see one more chunk right here. If we go on the home page, we didn't see that chunk. But if we go back to customers, this extra chunk is being loaded on demand. So let me also try to visualize that with the help of our bundler analyzer. Let me first rebuild the application. Let me run the analyzer. So let's try to compare our earlier report with the current report. So earlier, the stat size of the main bundle was 3.98. So with this lazy loading approach, if we go on the stat and check the size of main, the size is now 3.46 right so there's a difference on the size of the bundle imagine this bundle has a lot of features in that case there will be a huge difference and lazy loading is one of the ways to minimize the bundle size with this idea of code splitting tip number three install webpack bundle analyzer the main goal of this analyzer is to help the developer visualize all the modules all the dependencies that the project is using with the sizes for each modules and dependencies so that way developer can decide which module is of large size or which module is of small size and make the right decision which is appropriate for them so in my case i can visualize that moment time zone module which i'm using to display the date is 767.24 kb likewise this moment library is also taking more than 500 kb and if you notice we have lots of locales being loaded here so my requirement is that i don't care about all the locales except for the friends locale and I just need to load one time zone and again it depends on project to project if you don't require all the time zone or all the locals we can remove them all with the help of custom webpack file if you want to learn more about how to include custom webpack and also how to install the bundle analyzer i have a separate video for it check the description below so in my case i have already installed all the necessary plugins to remove unnecessary locales and unnecessary time zone related things from the bundle so let me add them back quickly as well this is not relevant here moment locales plugin and here i'm saying i just need the fresh locale and on the time zone plugin i'm saying i just care about the this time zone right let me save the page let me regenerate the bundle let me run the analyzer now let's try to compare between previous and current report so as you can see that the size of the moment has decreased right it's now 144 compared to earlier it was 563 and we also don't see all the locals anymore here right and similarly on the time zone this time zone is now only 16.92 right if you check here the time zone was 767.24 that's a huge file size there are many other plugins that will help you to optimize your bundle size tip number four use standalone component in my case i have created a brand new standalone component and the difference between regular component and the standalone component is that there is no requirement to register standalone component as part of the ng module unlike regular components which must be registered with the ng module if you see the difference here there is no module file and one difference is that for standalone components we must mark it as standalone true that way angular knows that this component is a standalone component imagine that we want to load this component as a lazy loaded route right we can do that very easily on the routing file earlier we loaded the whole module but if you only have one component then what's the point of creating the module right 
because we are just creating unnecessary code which increases the bundle size. If you just have one component instead of creating a separate module, my advice would be to just create standalone component which can still exist in isolation similar to directive and pipes and also you can take the benefits of everything that Angular offers. So now let's convert this into lazily loading the component. I just changed the uh, load children with load component method and here I basically give the path of the component. That's pretty much it here. Let me refresh the page quickly here and then if we go on the customer page we can see that we are loading standalone customers component. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helps. If you have any suggestions, comments, please write me down below. And lastly, please subscribe to my channel. That will help a lot. Thank you very much. Until then, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.